with my whole heart, with my whole life, and with my innermost being, I bow in wonder and love before you, the holy God. Yahweh, you are my sole celebration. How could I ever forget the miracles of kindness that you've done for me? You've kissed my heart with forgiveness in spite of all I've done. You've healed me inside and out from every disease. You've rescued me from hell and saved my life. You've crowned me with love and mercy. You satisfy my every desire with good things. You've supercharged my life so that I soar again like a flying eagle in the sky. Psalms 103 verses 1 to 6. Today I had a vision of a woman that was covered in sores and had arrows sticking out of her back. It was a confronting sight. Then I heard the Lord say, pull the arrows out and administer the oil. I knew right away that this woman represented those who had been victims of relentless spiritual attacks in the past season, and God was wanting them healed before they stepped into the promise. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to effectively embrace the season. Just as Joshua had to circumcise the men before going any further into the promised land, God is wanting us healed before we go any further. Many are feeling the tug of destiny, but still feel the sting, the defilement, the poison, the bitterness from the season of opposition and spiritual oppression. Even though we haven't caused these attacks, we do need to deal with the after effects of these battles in the same way a warrior would clean himself up after a lengthy onslaught. If you've been feeling like you are still in the aftershock of it all, I believe God wants to do that in you today. He wants to set you free. first assignment I sensed was betrayal. God is healing those who've been poisoned by betrayal in this season, and it has felt like no matter how much time has passed, you can still feel the poison of it affecting your everyday life. It was not Jesus' fault that Judas betrayed him, and often betrayal is a very common assignment of assassination sent right before a powerful destiny moment. I kept feeling, I feel exposed. And that is how many have felt. Not just shamed and judged, weighed and misunderstood, but viciously exposed. Betrayal has been an assignment of the enemy to cause people to feel like a failure and not up to the task that God has been preparing them for. Betrayal will cause you to shut yourself off from the people that are meant to be around you, It causes you to self-protect and ultimately sabotages yourself from ever accepting the genuine family God wants to bring you. Firstly, you need to forgive yourself that you didn't see it. Forgive the people that betrayed you. Then let Holy Spirit remove the poison once and for all. There are relational alignments and vows that you have made in this season that also need to be severed in the Spirit. So ask Holy Spirit right now to sever soul ties and vows that you entered into with the wrong people. Then let Him extract the shame and clothe your nakedness. It's a new day and God wants to cover you with His glory and cause your dark betrayal to become a glorious anointing for breakthrough.
The second assignment that I sensed was witchcraft. Witchcraft has come as a very divisive noise pollution in this season to surround you with lies from the enemy till you slowly break down and give up. Witchcraft is often the most common tactic of the enemy because he not only likes to enlist people to talk, gossip and even pray against you, but he hopes that you also take the bait and do the same back. This only keeps you locked into the cycle and clutters your heart and soul. Many have been feeling like this season has been one long battle of words coming at them like arrows, judgments, accusations and lies to try to make them cave into this intimidating assault. Witchcraft is like an assault of the airwaves at you and feels like every atmosphere is thick with tension and chaos. It will stifle creativity and block revelation hinder fresh vision, and at all costs wants you not to be in the presence of God where witchcraft is always exposed and cancelled. I felt that people are still carrying around the boils, the sores of curse words, judgments, and lying voices that have somewhat tainted the prophetic promises of God and brought disillusion. God wants to cancel the noise coming at you today. He wants to break off the words and curses off your life and restore truth and clarity back to you. So today, take authority over this assignment. Cancel the words and the effect that it's had on you and also its toll. I prophesy today, it will not clog up the airwaves around your life any further and cause you to live restless, fumbling and frustrated as you come into your new day. As this breaks, watch as you begin to hear more clearly than you ever have before. Watch as you feel the supernatural peace of God flooding your life. The scattered pieces suddenly coming together and delay broken. The assignment of Jezebel in this season has been primarily to shut down the voices that God is raising up in this hour and those who God is launching into new seasons of kingdom exploits. For these, it has felt like a constant war of the mind, battling fear, insecurity and oppression. It has also felt like you have been muzzled, foggy-headed and unable to hear God like you used to. All of these tactics are to disconnect you from the heart of God so that you are diverted from your crossing over moment. The enemy has even used people to squash you, trample you, usurp you, and delay you from your new doors and opportunities. But God isn't going to let this win over you. That muzzle is coming off and that irrational fear is leaving your life for good today. You are not owned and this spirit cannot claim what God has washed in his blood. You are His, and every cord attached to this kind of controlling and manipulative spirit is right now being severed. God is moving things and people out of your life that constantly keep you bound in a season that you were meant to soar in. Even right now, the chains are being broken in the name of Jesus. I keep hearing the Lord say to somebody, stop messaging them. There are people whose hearts aren't for you as you think and you keep being muzzled the more you open your heart to them and give them information about the inner workings of your life. As this breaks, watch as prophecy begins to bubble forth from you again and boldness and courage and power flows from your tongue. It's going to be a season of a new song, says the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. As I was writing this word down, I kept hearing lightning deliverance. I believe today that God wants to set you free right now. This is a breaker moment and a breaker season that God wants to give you a brand new start. Right now, the ropes are being cut and that page of your book is closing. 
You aren't a slave to the enemy's devices anymore. You're not down and out and under the weight of his false prophecies over your life. No, you are not a victim, a beggar, or even a leper. It's time to pull the arrows out of your back and dust off your feet. Pick up your pearls and close the door, never looking back. You're going to dance again. You're going to laugh again and your heart will sing a brand new song. So we're going to pray today and we're going to see those arrows removed and we're going to see God's oil administered to those places that you've had wounds and pain and and just those things that have been affecting your life. It's those battle scars that God's removing today. You're going to move into your new season without any of those battle scars. You're not going to have to wear them another day longer. So just pray after me. Holy Spirit, firstly, I rebuke these spiritual assignments that have sought to kill my destiny in its infancy and take me out of the game. These assignments have no more place of influence or access to me in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm sorry for what I've allowed to bully me and keep me in bondage. For my words and vows that keep opening the door to these assignments to affect my life. I recognize that I don't wrestle flesh and blood, so I forgive those who betrayed me, spoke against me, and stabbed me in the back. I give you any bitterness I have been carrying and I choose not to carry it any further. Holy Spirit, you are my healer and I ask you today to remove every arrow that has pierced me and wounded me unknowingly in this season. I've been walking around as a victim And I know you don't want me to be like that. Holy Spirit, remove every lie, every strike and blow that came at me. Heal every wound. Now I ask for your healing balm, your healing oil to flow over me and remove the boils and the sores and the defiling remains of these battles. Lord, I know today you say that who the Son sets free is free indeed. And I know that you are renewing my life and my youth like the eagles. In Jesus' name, amen.